Welcome to PageFly video tutorial series. In today's video, you'll learn about the fundamentals of PageFly, button element. Today, we will learn about how to add a button element, how to customize the button following the style you want to make full use of the button. To add the button element, click on the Add Element icon on the left toolbar. There are four types for you to choose from. I will choose the second type then drag it onto the page editor. When you click on the button then go to General tab, you can change the text inside the button as well as show or hide the icon nearby. To change the text, click on this box and type what you want. For example, I will type shop now. If you want to hide the icon, just need to switch this button. It's up to you. If you choose to show the icon, you can change the position of the icon inside the button. There are three options for you to choose from, left, right and top. What if you don't like the star icon? You can easily change it in page fly. To change it, first, you need to click on the icon. Go to General tab. You can search and change the icon you like here. There are a variety of symbols. You can use this search to find the keyword. I will type in cart for example. I will choose this one. You can also change the size of the icon by drag this bar, or insert the number here. In case you want your button to show full width, go to General tab greater than turn on enable full width. Now your button is showing full width inside its container. One big question is how to link the button with a page? You can easy set up click action for the button element in the action parameter. To know more about the click action, you can check our other video tutorial here or you can find the link of that video in the description box below. Now, we will discover the styling tab. As you can see, you can customize the button as much as you like with the help of page fly. The first parameter is global style. This is used when you want to change the format of the button that you already set up in global styling section. You can check the video tutorial link in the description box to know more about the global styling section. The second one is button state. You can choose different background and different color for each state. In normal state, I will keep content color as white color. Then, scroll down to background, and I'm going to change the background color to brown. Back to button state, I'm going to change hover state, which is the status of the button when customer hovers mouse over it. Now, I would like to change the content to be brown, and the background color to be white. Also, I want to have a border. So I scroll down to border parameter and choose this style. There are more settings with the border you can edit here. You can change the color of each border side. Furthermore, you can also change border width and border radius and more settings. Please keep in mind that you should only change the content color and background color in hover state so that would make the button looks great. One more thing, in active state, you can change the status of the button when click the cursor on. Now, let's see how the button changes itself when I click on the button. See, it's so amazing right? To see how it works, you have to save and publish the page to check it on the live page. Now you can see, the button is here. And when I hover it, it looks like this. Perfect. Another button I want to share with you is the Add to Cart button. You can find in Add Shopify Elements on the left toolbar. If you want to find out more about this button, please check link in the description below. This is the end of the video tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel to get more new video tutorials. These are other videos on our channel you also may need. Thanks for watching.